everyone. I'm Meryl Stewart, CEO of Marketing and Business Solutions. And today I want to talk about how you share your story at your events. Uh, we're working with a lot of clients, especially during the seasons, you know, the fall season, the spring season, that are doing events, some of them in person, some of them virtually. But regardless, you still have to tell your story and you have to do it in a more impactful way, in my opinion, than you have had to in the past. So I wanted to share some tips with you on telling that story and some really key components that are important to include in your events so that you get the best outcome possible, the best engagement possible, and really excited uh, guests who are going to bid on items, who are going to support your miss mission and help make this thing a success. So a couple things. One is you have to talk about impact. It's so important uh, to integrate the impact that your business or your organization has into the program for the for the event. Um, I can't tell you how many times I see agendas that just have kind of talking heads in the sense that you've got the CEO up there saying a few words and maybe your board chair saying a few words, but no one's really talking about what the organization does or why it's it's important, or if it wasn't there, what gap there would be in the community or um, in a specific industry. So talking about what it is that you do from the standpoint of impact is really, really key. And don't be afraid to throw out statistics. Don't be afraid to, you know, put faces or um, if you, you know, work with animals, pictures, you know, or if you work with, um, you know, some other kind of, um, metric or method that's really important to put pictures of that up or video of that up and share it. I think it's really important to create as much of a visual experience as possible for people. We just connect faster to it um, than just talking heads, you know, at an event and everyone kind of starts tuning them out and people, you know, turn off their screens on Zoom and everything else in between. So, you want to have those people nodding their heads, leaning forward, thinking about what it is that you're saying and responding to it the way you want to. The second part that's really important is to have a personal connection. So having a story about someone that you've helped, having a story about a customer that's had an amazing experience, um, what it is that that person had the problem with, what is it that your product or service or organization did to help address that issue, and how is that person better for it because they engaged with you, because they bought your product, because they they engaged with your mission and got services or help. What is it that changed them? That's the part that people want to know. You've got to be able to make that human connection between what it is that someone is, is suffering with or needing or challenged with, and what is it that you're doing to help solve that problem. That is, it's such a key thing. And at events specifically, it's always great to share video or pictures or PowerPoint presentation or something like that. But it's also really great if you can get that person to actually show up and speak in their own words and their own tone about that experience. There's something magical that happens when people can see the real deal in front of them and, you know, kind of are proven wrong that, you know, this story is just made up and it's one more thing that someone is, is putting out there. And then to see someone actually, you know, live and in person sharing that themselves makes a huge difference. Um, and so I urge you to think about that. And especially if you have people that um, are, are great advocates for your company, your organization, or your best client, or your best customer, you know, ask them if they'd be willing to share that live, in person, on camera, um, or record their voice or pre-record that video so that you can share it. The third thing I would say is there has to be some type of call to action. You have to link this story together. So what is it that you're impacting? Who is it that you're impacting? And what is it that other people can do to create a better and bigger impact? And that can be, you know, you can translate that to not the nonprofit space with their missions. You can also translate that to the sales space for for for-profit businesses. What do you want people to do? You know, obviously you want to sell more things or you want people to donate. You know, it's about money. It's about revenue. It's about generating additional awareness and marketing and having people interact with your brand. And so don't be afraid to ask people to do something. I was just doing a training. Um, you know, the number one reason why people don't give or don't buy is because they're not asked. We don't ask people. We just assume they're going to do it if we make a great case. But you still have to ask them. 
So, you know, ask for what you need. If it's the sale, if it's the donation, if it's volunteers, if it's something else, you need people to share and spread the word about the great work that you're doing. Don't be afraid to do it. So I hope these are some things you can integrate into your next events. I really think that um, making it uh, a core part of what it is that you're doing makes a huge impact and difference in how people interact with you in your brand, in your organizations, and your missions. And so um, I hope to see you know some of you do that. Uh, I love watching some, you know, came in contact with a, a really great organization that does an incredible job of telling their story. And it's that emotional experience that you want people to have, that emotional connection so that it feels like a relationship. It feels like they need you and you need them and that there's something you can do together to make a difference or to move the needle forward. So I hope that that was helpful. Thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about what we do, please visit www.mymabs.com. That's M-Y-M-A-B-S.com. You can also uh, leave comments below and I'm happy to answer them. Um, I'm happy to answer questions or connect you with additional resources. And we hope to see you next time. Thanks so much for joining us.